They say that uh, the Nigeria army don't come outside the council of Breto. Hmm, say they have returned peace to South East. They say for Enugu na everywhere Marama no Wahala. Imo state. Hmm, they say everywhere na na pepe soup. Say no issue again. Say finally they have conquered the non government and all other other people for inside. Sad is now they say that they have restored peace for inside sad is a bego if on a day sad is someone of death also however i'm go find out how this thing take the happen but as that one they go on hmm, people will say they don't restore um peace for inside sad sad is now would they get information say yesterday night one guy we won't go free gas now, so the Nigeria army come there, oh, eh, kwa, 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 eh, kwa, kwa, kwa. many of them, even the bullet, even they, their body, as we they talk right now. Now, we come they ask, now people where restore uh, peace, now there come be problem, now come give the people, hmm, my people, I will go find out how that one take happen, oh. They say our brothers waiting for inside South Africa. Don't call out Nigeria embassy waiting there. <laughs> he say this embassy don't do them shake. They go, they go put for passport and they go get them in three hundred years. <laughs> However, let's go and find out how this take the happen. Welcome back to Balabas GC. If today not the first time where they come across this channel, you are highly welcome. Please share this video and follow and subscribe to this channel for more update turn your notification bell very very important let's jump inside the matter we will get for our hand um we see a viral video today <laughs> when nigeria army don't come outside come celebrate say they don't finally return peace for inside southeast let me play the video for you to watch before we come back and continue the streets are busy as residents of enugu go about their normal duties on a monday morning unlike in the past when they observed the sit-at-home order imposed by the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra. With Operation Udoka in place, the general officer commanding 82 Division of the Nigerian Army and force commander of the operation laments the number of deaths recorded due to the activities of IPOP. If you look at the number of people that have been kidnapped, and sons paid, people killed. A good number of it from the statistics available shows they are actually for the Southeast. So what fight are we really talking about? The military reassures residents of the area of adequate security and reaffirms the commitment to flushing out remnants of IPOP. And we leave no stone on turn to make sure that uh, we restore the glory that East Nigeria is known for. From Enugu to Imo, peace appears to have returned, attested to by the beehive of activities at the popular Banana Junction in Olu East. The garrison commander of Sector 4 in Olu and some residents speak on the situation. Before we are running this banana junction, we don't have rights in this banana junction. But I thank God that the governor of Imo State have done it for us. We won't see here at all here. There's no problem here. The story is somewhat different in Osumogu, the hotbed of IPOP activities in Ihiala local government area of Anambra State. Parts of the town appear deserted, despite the presence of military personnel who have reclaimed eight local government areas previously occupied by the prescribed indigenous people of Biafra. Now they have been in this place since 2017. So it has been like a fortress where they have become fully established. And so because of that, uh, they do everything possible to ensure that they are not dislodged from this location. So that's why the fight is on. 
and this location gives them an easy access to the expressway that is Onicha Oweri Expressway. Although the sit at home order by the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra is no longer being enforced, the military are leaving no stone unturned to restore the peace and progress of the southeast. <laughs> So they say that they sit at home, they don't find any end dam. Say nothing like sit at home for inside Southeast again. <laughs> My people, however, let us uh, still show you this video, the information where they reach us today. This thing happened last night. Watch the video. You can see um, here in the hospital that we rushed our brother. I will rush our brother. To, uh, he went to fill a gas according to the people there. And according to him, as he told us, he went to fill a gas at gas plant. Uh, they call us, uh, they known as Second Coming at Orata by Expressway, where he finally uh, uh, got this very injury. He's lying helplessly at the hospital right now he was fired a live bullet by a Nigerian soldier they were having quarrel at the gas plant while this our brother came to fill the gas so what happened was that the soldiers came and they started shooting people there without even asking what was happening this is how bad they have become. This is how bad they have, things have become. This is the second person that got injured by a live bullet, by a live bullet on his neck, on his neck, at the back of his neck. And according to the young man, he's now telling us that the bullet is moving around his head. I don't know, we don't know whether uh, things will get out of hand. We don't know for now the situation of things but for now they are still conscious uh, uh, we are still trying to get the doctor's x-ray so that they will be either treated here or posted elsewhere for treatment okay my wonderful people now the same people who wait or say they don't restore peace to the people and now the same people we carry their kala enter where people they go they shoot pa 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 See what they do for inside that place now. Nah. <laughs> ah, this country cannot cannot comp cannot stop surprising me. However, um, let us uh, still show you what they happen to our brothers waiting for inside South Africa. Don't call outside the Tunumbu government as a medic come because uh, their passports where they put in it they take them 300 years before they carry and come as a watch the video when you are walking around in south africa they will stop you because you are in nigeria where is the drugs where is the permit where is this you are illegal immigrant they hold you you are going to prison if you have money you saw the police they will leave you for how long are we going to do this in south africa what seems like a meeting that intends to address key challenges and social ills that are faced by nigerians in south africa turn out to become what could be regarded as the national revolution for democracy against the leading apostles of Nigerian consulate to South Africa. Our grievances in South Africa is much. Hear me out, hear me out. I want the citizens' rights to be taken to into consideration. As part of vision of NECASA, we need to proffer solutions to good services to Nigerians in South Africa especially on the issue of passport, traveling certificates, NIN, resident permits, and other relevant documents we need as immigrants. Gather our consulates in one office to less the stress for our people. This is the main problem we are having. So if Nigerian government cannot provide common passports for their, for their people in diaspora, what is the, what's the use of having consulates? If you do the right thing, you don't need to go to OIS. And you get your passport. For 10 hours after the capture. This part of what you're saying now is that we should go to the website and do whatsoever with what we want to do. We will do it in three years, we won't get that passport. In South Africa, you cannot stay in South Africa without your permits. And that permit must be put in your it's the Nigerian passport. It's totally unfair for a person to apply for Nigerian passports and they have been charged over 7,000 rand for that. Nigeria consulate here in South Africa, they are frustrating the, their people.
Right, the Nigerian General Assembly that was hosted by NICASA, Nigerian Citizens Association of South Africa, in accordance with the M of Nigerian Diplomatic Mission in South Africa, received backlogs of reactions from angry Nigerian citizens living in Whitbank, a city that is located in Pumalanga province of South Africa, within the Imihelani local municipality. My wonderful people, <laughs> share this video and uh, follow this channel i don't know most of them now i know they like where they bring on the truth and i like where they where they broadcast fake news where they they show saga now which one are they like <laughs> but for my own people where they here please share the video and make sure they follow this channel if you never follow us if you never subscribe subscribe and turn your notification bell very very important we see the we day tiktok oh <laughs> we day everywhere share for more updates